So, kind of switching gears a little bit, um, what would you say is your favorite place to perform? If you, I know you've played around Cleveland a lot. Um, yeah. What would you say that your favorite place to put on a show is at? Uh, definitely the House of Blues. That was by far our favorite. Um, they just the, the sound there is just like the best that we've ever played with. And uh, uh, the first the first time that we played there was the Tri C High School Rock Off, and uh, it was pretty cool. It's just because we never really played a bigger show like that. So that was a, one of our first shows was on was at the House of Blues, and so um, I don't know. It just kind of like blew our minds that that's that we were playing there. I would say, I mean, that place is so huge. So I couldn't imagine what it would be like to perform there. It's huge, and it was cool because it was, like, basically sold out because there's all these other bands. And right. we were, like, one of the last bands to go on. Yeah. That's an <laughs> awesome experience. Yeah. Um, so going along with performing, who would you say was your favorite band to perform with? To perform with? Mm-hmm. Um, man. Um, I, I think I would say, um, Conditions, who I mentioned earlier, um, they're just a really big influence all around, but when we play with them, it was the first time we ever heard them, and, um, they're just honestly, like, the most genuine dudes that, like, we've ever met, and the fact that, um, they're one of our influences, and that they're really awesome guys is just, it's a huge influence on us, not only, like, musically, but, you know, how you approach music and how you approach. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were just really genuine and it was really cool playing with them. And they have a great stage presence. It was fun. So. Um, so I also wanted to ask, um, what would you say was your band's most memorable moment as being Good Night City Lights? Um, <laughs> our most memorable moment um, good or bad? Uh, well, either one that you'd like to either, share. Either or. I just feel like the one that sticks out the most is we were playing at the Rockstar, which is this little stage above Peabody's, um, on East 22nd, and the stage is in, like, the corner of the room. It's just an awful, horrible setup, but, um, we had a few people there, and we got into our third song, which is a cover that we do, and, uh, our singer just completely forgot the words, which he tends to do from time to time, but at that moment, he decided to just tell everybody to stop and to start the song over. And we've never had to stop a song and start it over. Wow. And uh, it was wow. just really embarrassing. So. Oh, wow. Um, that's, that's pretty memorable for me. I would say so. Um, well, this is 88.3 FM Sting. I'm Amy. I'm joined by TJ from Goodnight City Lights. Uh, TJ, I wanted to ask you, um, what would our listeners expect to see from Goodnight City Lights when you play live? Because you're going to be playing at our spring concert, which is on March 19th at 7 p.m., and it's a benefit for To Write Love on Our Arms. So we were just wondering if you wanted to talk a little bit more about what you f- your stage presence is like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we love to move around is what it comes down to, and... Um, we love to get people involved, so be ready to get involved. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Um, uh, we don't, we hate just standing around. We we hate seeing bands who just stand around. We like to like get into it and do our own thing. But we're we're totally stoked to be doing the show. Um, super excited. Uh, this organization is is one that I've like been aware of for a while, and I just really like what they stand for. And it's amazing that we get to do a show for them. So oh, definitely. It'd be really cool. Definitely. And um, kind of wrapping it up a little bit, what would you say is one of your favorite songs to perform live? Um, my favorite song to perform live um, is actually one that's not on our EP. Uh, it's a song called Ghosts. And that, along with Stars, is one of the first songs that we that we ever wrote. Um uh, but you should, uh, should expect to hear ghosts. Um, we're going to be recording this summer. I don't want to give away any details yet because it's going to be a big announcement for us. Oh, very but, cool. Uh, but ghosts is one that's going to be on the next record. So you guys will be able to hear it on there, but that's my favorite song to play. Awesome. And, um, 
kind of the last question. If you could okay. give advice to a musician that's trying to start up, what would some piece of advice be for them? Um, anybody who's starting up and who asked me about it, I tell them that um, chances are you're going to suck and you're going to suck really bad when you start. And you just kind of have to accept that um, and just kind of like, you know, persevere through all that, all those horrible songs that you wrote, because for every five bad songs that you write, there's going to be one awesome song, but you have to write those first five bad songs first. You know what I mean? That's great advice. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you can come see Goodnight City Lights at the WEWC Spring Concert, a benefit to write love on her arms on March 19th at 7 p.m. I want to thank you, TJ, so much for joining us today. And uh, we're really excited for the show. Thank you so much for having me. This is really cool. That's ah, no problem. Well, you have a great day. Cool. Thanks. You too. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.